This divine miscarriage is, in fact, the creator God of the Jews, who ignorantly proclaimed, I am God and there is no other. He simply didn't know that there were other gods far superior to him in power and knowledge. They dwelt where he had never been, in the divine realm of the Pleroma. Yaldabao generated yet other imperfect divinities, and together they became the creators of the material world, which they made as a place for imprisonment for that eon that had fallen from the Pleroma, sometimes known as Sophia, the Greek word for wisdom. Human bodies were created in order to house sparks of this divine being, Sophia. That brings us to the state of the world today. Why is it a place of such misery, pain, and suffering? Because it is not the good creation of the ultimate true God. It is a faulty creation of a lower, inferior, ignorant, and sometimes evil deity. The goal of salvation, therefore, is not to create a paradise on earth, a kingdom of God in this realm. The goal is to allow the divine spark scattered among humanity to escape this material world, to become reunited, and to return to the realm whence they came. How can that happen? Only when those of us who have divine sparks within us can learn the truth about who we are, where we came from, how we got here, and how we can return. Saving knowledge, in other words, is self-knowledge. This knowledge cannot come to us through natural means. For example, by looking around at the world and thinking hard about it. This material world is the creation of an inferior deity, and nothing in it can tell us what we need to know to escape it. No, the knowledge for salvation must come to us from above. A divine being, an eon from the Pleroma, must come down to tell us what we need to know. But how can an eon come into this material world without itself partaking of the realm of matter? Gnostics had different ways of solving that problem. Those Gnostics who were Christian insisted that Christ was this eon, and they had two different ways of explaining how he could reveal the truth of salvation without becoming entrapped himself in matter. According to one explanation, Christ came into the world in the appearance of human flesh. That is, Christ was a phantasm who only seemed to be a real man. He was completely spirit, human in appearance only. The other explanation found more commonly in Gnostic texts is that Christ was an eon who was temporarily housed in the body of the man Jesus. In this view, Jesus was the human shell that provided Christ with the medium he needed in order to reveal the truth to his followers. When the shell was killed, or perhaps before, Christ was released to return to the Pleroma whence he came.